Last week, we talked about how to find some new ideas for writing content for your site based on questions and queries consumers may have using a free tool called AnswerThePublic.com. This week, I thought I would share another content marketing tool which will give you the strength of a sumo wrestler in a local content marketing ring. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, and welcome to a new tool for your trade session. There are tons of content being written and published every day on the web. From millions of daily Facebook posts and tweets to hours of new videos published on YouTube or simply the creation of new web pages, the internet has become a giant monster filled with content. The question is how you make your content to stand out so your business gets noticed and you get more customers through it. Easy, you need to make outstanding content. But what is outstanding content exactly? Outstanding content is content that people will take the time to read, share and link back to. How do you create something like that? Simple. Search for some existing outstanding content in your niche or industry and create better one. But there is so much content out there. How do I know what works and what doesn't? That's exactly what I am going to show you today. Head over to BossSumo.com BossSumo is a premium tool which means you need to pay for it. The company, however, offers a free trial pro version which doesn't even require a credit card and lets you enjoy the full benefit of the tool for 15 days. This is more than enough for you to get going. Using BuzzSumo, I am going to show you what kind of content gets shared the most across the web, who spreads it online, and how you can use this to your advantage for your local content marketing strategy. This is only a tiny overview of what BuzzSumo can do for you. Once you have created an account and logged in, you should be on the content research page in the most shared subcategory. For those of you who have watched last week's episode called Amplify Your Local Influence with Content, you might remember I used an orthodontic business as an example in which I discovered a lot of queries and questions around braces. Sticking with the braces topic, I want to know what the most shareable pieces of content that includes the keyword braces are. Let's enter the word braces in the search box and click search. In the left hand side column, I can filter all the results by date, language, country and even content type. The content type category is very useful as it will help me figure out what type of content works best. In the middle of the page, I can see the list of results being displayed for the word braces. Next to each listed result, you will see the number of Facebook likes, LinkedIn shares, Twitter shares, etc. And total number of shares a piece of content has received, allowing you to sort the results by popularity. The list can be sorted as well by the social media channel you are interested in by simply clicking on the respective link or using the drop down menu above the list. For each result, you can see who has shared a particular piece of content on Twitter and the number of links it has gathered. The top result is an article called 17 photos everyone who grew up with braces will understand, which was originally published on BuzzFeed.com and shared a staggering 107,000 times. Obviously, BuzzFeed is a site that pulls in hundreds of thousands of visitors a month and, as a small business, it would be very difficult to get the same kind of traction. But at least, it might give me an idea of what type of content people like to read and share. So, let's click on it to see what it looks like. It seems to be an article made out of various tweets with semi-shocking pictures, hence the reason why it was so popular. As an orthodontist, I probably wouldn't create a page made out of a collection of tweets, but I could easily create a much improved version of something similar using a near identical format. The page uses a very simple list layout format which consists of 17 tweets, each of which includes an image. This is a type of content that is very easily consumed online and easily shared. As an orthodontist, I could create something very similar and a lot more polished, describing the evolution of braces through history, for instance. 
It could go like this. Braces in Roman times, if that existed. Braces in the 1800s. Braces in the 1900s, etc. Using the same format seen in the BuzzFeed article, I could create a list with one image for each historical period along with a short description of what braces were meant to do in those days. The images would play a huge part in the appeal of this article, making it highly shareable, not to mention the educational aspect of it and without forgetting to highlight how much improvement has been made in the field of braces. Moving to the title of the article, 17 photos everyone who grew up with braces will understand is a very compelling headline. BuzzFeed.com spends a great deal of time and effort trying out many headlines to see what works best. Using the same principle, we could create something very similar, such as 10 types of braces through history that will put your teeth on edge. Let's check who shared this article on Twitter. Click on View Shares. A list of people who have shared this article on Twitter comes up. Sorting out the list by the number of followers will bring the biggest influencers who have shared this article to their Twitter account. If I was to produce my 10 types of braces through history that will put your teeth on edge and needed to reach a big audience, I would definitely try to connect with these guys so they can share my article through their network. They are very likely to do this since they've already shared something similar. How useful was that? I now have an idea for a great piece of shareable content, a compelling headline and a list of potential influencers I can get in touch with to promote my article and stand out of the crowd. Obviously, BuzzSumo can do many more things, but I think this one will be more than useful if you want to win your local content marketing battle. Keep playing with this tool and become a proper marketing sumo wrestler. I hope you've enjoyed this video and to see you soon for another episode on rankingacademy.co.uk.